Chuck, where do you get your unwavering confidence from? Stay tuned. We're going to give you five powerful tips to boost your confidence. Confidence comes from feelings of well-being and acceptance of your mind and body and your self-esteem and your belief in your own ability and your skills and experience. Confidence is an attribute that most people would like to possess. I'm going to give you five powerful tips to help boost your confidence. I'm going to elaborate on a little bit of them as we grow and give you some examples if we have them. And I'm going to take that a step further and even say, stay away from negative people. They are out there. You know who they are. They're the Debbie Downers or even worse still. These are people who are really good at talking and influencing other people without knowing whatever the hell they're saying. Maybe you've had an experience when you were in school where you studied with somebody who spoke very confidently and freely, but then you got really bad grades because you committed everything to memory that they taught you and you realize they really didn't know shit. They just like commanding the room and that's really a false state of confidence. I mean, negativity can be a pretty horrible thing. It's going to seep into everybody's mind. Negative self-talk is absolutely the worst. You really, you have to find a way around that by focusing on the good and focusing on the positive, eliminating not just the thoughts, but the negative people from your life. And I mean, believe it or not, this is going to sound a little bit like a West Coast thing to do, but I've actually even started letting people go and firing people just for having negative attitudes because I noticed that everything runs a lot more smoothly when you surround yourself with positive, goal-driven people. So positivity is going to be key. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. It works. So you have to feel good with what you're doing. Posture is going to be a lot of it. Throw your shoulders back, speak slowly, speak clearly, learn to enunciate, hold your head up high, feel comfortable in the way that you dress, whether I'm in a short, shorts and a t-shirt or a suit, I, I feel comfortable and confident in my ability and I mean honestly for me at least a lot of that's even just staying in shape. I mean you, you look confident, your body looks confident, people will treat you differently because of your stature and your position versus if you kind of like slump in there and you're dragging your feet and you're not walking confidently, no, nobody's gonna listen to you. Your body language says a lot more than your words and something like 80 to 90% of communication is nonverbal. Nobody wants to do business with or buy and sell anything from anybody who just really seems like somebody you don't wanna be around before they even open their mouth, like when they walk in the door. Real estate can be pretty friggin' tough, and there are a lot of things that are gonna make your creative transactions or your normal transactions fall apart. I mean, we've tried to count the moving parts on a lot of these deals, and I'm not just talking buyer, seller, attorneys, title companies, we're talking underwriters, insurance people, town zoning officials, smoke and fire things, certificate of occupancy, landscaping. There's a lot of things moving around and there's going to be lots of bumps in the road and you might take some of them personally. Some of them, you know, I mean, I, I don't even get excited until somebody tells me something's not going to work. Usually when people tell me transactions aren't going to work, those are the ones that usually make the most. And, and I've just accepted it that when other people are willing to give up, there is actually a tremendous opportunity there. I mean, sometimes, and this is something that I was able to develop just at the gym, you're gonna have that little voice in your head that tells you like, you just can't do it, this is really hard, this is really heavy, whatever, and it's not gonna be easy to do. You have to catch yourself from doing it, maybe find an anchor, pull on your ear, do something, and you're gonna have to confidently cultivate a much bigger voice in your head that just says, shut up, keep going, push through the pain barrier. There's something really good on the other side that most people can't get, but you're not like most people. Most people are f***ing losers and that ain't you. Just go watch an inspirational movie like Rocky. You, you'll get it. There's a lot of positive self-talk and that kind of stuff and it transcends like the sports world and Hollywood and goes right into business.
It is hard to be prepared for everything, but the more life experience you have, the more you'll be prepared for anything. I've had a number of students over the years tell me that real estate and creative real estate and problem solving in general will help you prepare to tackle more challenges in life than anything you've really ever seen. There, there are so many things you can do on a daily basis just to be prepared for every situation and have some kind of forethought. So there's a lot of little things you can do throughout the day to make your day more efficient, to wind up saving more time and just getting more things done without even delegating when you're just a one-man show. I mean, literally just you. By now, everybody should have a smartphone. There's a notes section of it or somewhere you can write things down or you could just go old school and use a pen and paper. But think of all the little challenges that you face throughout the day. And I'm not just talking about business. I mean, stupid like lunch. It drives me nuts when you have a team meeting and then all of a sudden everybody's wondering how come you're so efficient you get all these things done and the minute it breaks everybody runs to lunch and they're gone for an hour or two because they want something delicious food all right it's building material and energy that's it nothing more anything else is like a privilege go out to eat on friday night or saturday take some time off enjoy yourself but like gordon gecko was right lunch oh you gotta be kidding lunch is for wimps okay billy i'll talk at you work right through it, become more efficient. Sometimes I'd wish that I had paperwork to purchase a house with me, so now we have accordion folders in all of our cars. So all the documents, all the time, every time, for every possible real estate situation that me, we might walk into are there with us. So just in case this is something urgent and it's go time, it's there. On top of that, in my car, there's bolt cutters, sledgehammer, lock boxes, first aid kits, just things to be ready for. It's like being a boy scout for life. I prepare every day when I go to the office or if I go out into the field like I'm going on safari. I mean, I've got all kinds of things, changes of clothes, different footwear. It's all on me all the time, every time, just cause it's gonna help you be ready. And people are like, wow, I really wish I had a pair of kicking boots in my car too, in case I had to break down that door and walk through a flooded basement. Well, you can, and you know why I have one? Because I've been in that situation a couple times and then I wanted to be ready for it. I mean, you could tape it on your fridge. There have been times that I actually wrote it on my bathroom wall. You're gonna have rough days. You're gonna have a fight with your wife or your husband or whatever. Deals are gonna blow up. You're gonna get into a car accident. It is gonna go wrong. Sometimes a lot of shit's gonna go wrong at once and you're gonna feel like you need a break. And I mean, it's okay to walk away from a few minutes and get some rest and, and come back and just attack it with all of your like ferocity is probably a really good word. But sometimes you need to walk away and you need to remind yourself why you can do this. So you look at your list and it's like, holy these are all the wonderful things that I accomplished in life. There's no reason why I can't go back and do this because I am a published research biologist. I am first runner up heavyweight Mr. America. I am the father of a special needs kid. I've done all this great These are all my goals and how close I've worked towards them. I mean, I mean, bathroom mirror is a great way to write fridge next to your bed, somewhere you see it every day. Remind yourself who you are and why you can do this. And we all have those moments in life when time gets really tough and you've got to dig really, really deep and just reconnect with somebody that you haven't reconnected with in a while, yourself. And just push through it, attack it. Sometimes you got to regroup, it's understandable. You'll feel a lot better when you go back and sometimes you're gonna have to change your approach, whatever it takes, get through the tough situation. And before you know it, they either get easier or you get used to them. My name is Chuck Kohout. I hope this helped you build your confidence. I'll always be closing. Look forward to working with you soon. Smash the subscribe now. button and give us a thumbs up. Bye for now. Good.